house coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. We learn all about the game of High Line and the crooked custom agent mixed up with Vice in the episode Kill Shot. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from October 5th to October 12th, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on October 10th, the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical Phantom of the Opera debuts in London. By a wide margin, Phantom of the Opera is the longest-running show in Broadway history and is the most financially successful stage show until The Lion King replaced it in 2014. Based on the 1910 French novel of the same name, it is easily one of the most recognizable stage performances and often spoofed in TV and movies from the 80s and today. In music, Huey Lewis and the News hold the top spot for one more week, but it doesn't matter. The song we all want to hear is quickly climbing the charts. From the one and only, the sexiest man on TV in the 1980s, Don Johnson's Heartbeat reaches the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. From the certified gold album of the same name, which performed well and produced some hits, Heartbeat would eventually settle at number 5 on the charts. If you needed further proof that Miami Vice and Don Johnson were king of the 80s, Miami Vice is one of the top shows on television, the theme song reached number one on the charts, and the star of the show would release a gold record. Don, we love you. In movies, it's going to be a struggle to find other movies to talk about for the next eight weeks while Crocodile Dundee sits on the top of the box office. On October 10th, starring Kathleen Turner, Peggy Sue Got Married hits theaters. Directed by Francis Ford Coppola, the film centers around Turner, who lives a life of turmoil, finds herself transported back to the time to her senior year in high school. The film was nominated for three Academy Awards, including a Best Actress nod for Kathleen Turner. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.